So there might be a time when you don't want to delete missing values, but you just want to replace them with something that is more realistic to an average or to a constant value. So what we're going to do is work with that now. So the first thing we want to do to do this is we are going to install a package. So we're going to do install.packages, parentheses, and then we're going to do a capital H M I S C. And so when we run that, it will install it. So once that has finished being installed, we're going to load it. So we're going to do library H M I S C and run that. And now this should be available. So if we go into our packages here, you can also always load it into your environment by just clicking the box here. But you can see that this package is now loaded in. So what this package has is what's known as an impute function. So what we can do is if we look at our DF, we know that there are NAs in here. And so what we can choose to do is impute a value, either a constant value or something based off of a stat of that column. So for example, we are going to do, we're going to do DFO zone impute, and we're going to go ahead and tell it to impute, and then we're going to give it the data. So it's going to be DFO zone. I'm going to change that to a column there, and then I'm going to tell it what I want it to Im impute. So I want it to use the median to impute in. So if I run this, I can now look at my DF and now where it has NAs, it's all being replaced with this 31.5 because that is the median of that column there. And we can double check that real quick if we just run median of DF ozone and then we're gonna tell it NA.RM, which is means to ignore all the NAs is true. So when you do that, it's going to ignore the NAs. If you just run the median without that, it's going to give you an error. And so essentially we get 31.5 and that's what it's doing there. It's replacing all of those missing values with the median of the column. We could also do something like this with DF ozone impute and we're going to impute DF ozone and we could use something like the mean and go ahead and run that. And now we're gonna get a different number here. So you can see we get 42.129. So it's just using the different functions to be able to impute that. And I'll leave a link below with all the different options that you have to be able to impute with. But the other thing that you that's common to impute with is a constant. So for example, if you knew that all of your missing values were because they were below the limit of detection, and so if you there, you could give them a zero or you could give them whatever your limit of detection is. So we could say DF ozone impute, and I am rewriting this column every time here. So if you wanted these as different columns, you wanna make sure that you're doing that. So we're gonna do impute DF ozone, and I'm just gonna give it a constant value of zero. We're gonna say if it's missing a value, it's actually a zero, it just doesn't know it's a zero. And if we run that, we can now see that we have zeros coming in where we were missing values. Now, you want to make sure whenever you're doing any form of imputation that you are doing it with the knowledge of how this data is collected and what that information really means. If it's on a survey, does it mean that that person didn't fill out the form or never saw that question because of survey logic? Then you don't want to necessarily impute that they're actually like they would have responded with a zero that you may actually want to drop them from the information or sometimes it is okay to impute with the median and sometimes it isn't. So you definitely want to know how that data was collected and what is the best method for dealing with those missing values and not just choose a method to deal with it.